In today's dynamic business landscape, understanding the inner workings of Papa John's is not merely advantages. It is essential for informed decision-making and strategic planning. What fundamental insights lie within the core of Papa John's operational framework that could redefine the trajectory of its future success? At Jack and Jill, we pride ourselves on delivering comprehensive insights and strategic guidance to our clients in the ever-evolving landscape of business. Let's take a look at the company's history. On October 2, 1984, John Schneider founded Papa John's, hence the name Papa John's is derived. It all started in a broom closet when John converted it into a small pizza kitchen at the back of his father's tavern in Jeffersonville, Indiana. In 1993, the company went public, offering 1.55 million shares at $13 per share. In 2001, Papa John's initiated the first online ordering in the U.S. 2006 when they earned a Guinness World Record for their seven-year winning streak on customer satisfaction ratings. In 2017, John Schneider used a racially offensive N-word which created a public backlash and made him step down as the CEO effective January 1, 2018. Today, Papa John's tried to rebuild its image and currently boasts its almost 6,000 restaurants worldwide. Moving on, let us tackle Papa John's brand identity and its promise. While Papa John's does not publicly disclose their mission and vision statement, we can infer a lot about their brand from their brand promise, better ingredients, better pizza. This promise is straightforward and easy for customers to understand. By highlighting the use of higher quality ingredients, Papa John's sets itself apart from competitors and appeals to health-conscious consumers. It positions Papa John's as a premium option in the pizza market. Additionally, Papa John's has consistently delivered on this premise by using fresh ingredients and maintaining a high standard of quality across its products. However, there are things need to consider. The term better is subjective and can vary from person to person. What constitutes better ingredients or pizza may differ based on individual preferences. While the premise focuses on ingredients, it neglects other important factors like variety of toppings. Lastly, Pizza is often associated with positive emotions such as fun, family gatherings, or intelligence. Unfortunately, this promise does not tap into these emotional aspects. Let's take a closer look at Papa John's brand values and evaluate their strengths and weaknesses. Their brand value Everyone Belongs highlights inclusivity and team collaboration. It promotes a welcoming and respectful work environment with a diverse workforce. However, it has authenticity concerns in rebuilding trust after past controversies of the brand. Second is do the right thing, which emphasizes ethical behavior, strong moral compass, and giving back to the community. But it also has subjectivity concerns and may vary depending on cultural, social, and ethical perspectives, which can lead to potential conflicts or misunderstandings. Third is the people first. It prioritizes both customer satisfaction and employee well-being. However, while it is crucial, solely focusing on these two groups may inadvertently exclude other stakeholders such as suppliers, shareholders, and the broader community, which are also integral parts of the business success. Fourth one is Innovate to Win, and it highlights the importance of innovation, adaptation, and staying ahead of the competition. Lastly, have fun, and this value conveys a sense of enjoyment and excitement, aligning with the casual and enjoyable nature of pizza consumption. For Papa John's key personnel, the current interim chief executive officer and chief financial officer is Ravi Tanawala. He was appointed in March 2024. Moving on to Papa John's business model canvas. For their key partnerships, it includes franchisees, suppliers, technology partners, and marketing and advertising partners. For their key activities, it include food preparation, restaurant operations, delivery service, marketing and promotion, franchise support, and supply chain management. For their key resources, it include franchises, supply chain, technology, brand reputation, and human capital. And their value proposition include high-quality ingredients, customization, convenience, value for money, and commitment to quality. For their customer relationships, it includes personalized service, responsive communication, feedback mechanisms, reward programs, and franchise relationships. Their channels include physical locations, online ordering and delivery services, partnerships with third-party delivery services, and franchise system. 
Their customer segments include individual consumers, corporate clients, event planners, and franchisees. And their cost structure include domestic company-owned expenses, North America commissary expenses, international expenses, other expenses, general and administrative costs, and depreciation and amortization. Their revenue streams include domestic company-owned restaurant sales, North America franchise royalties and fees, North America commissary revenues, international revenues, and other revenues that are comprised of their national marketing fund, online and mobile ordering business, and their previously wholly owned print and promotion subsidiary. In the current business landscape, several key factors are shaping the environment for quick service pizza restaurant service industry. In terms of political factors, we have government instability in which the United States is experiencing heightened polarization between the Democrats and Republicans, exacerbated by events such as the storming of the U.S. Capitol. This instability can create uncertainty regarding policies and regulations impacting the stock market investment and economic health. In terms of economic factors, most notably is the Palestinian-Israeli conflict which can further disrupt global economic conditions, potentially leading to inflation and economic recession, affecting consumer demand and business operations in the pizza chain industry. We have also inflation rates, interest rates, and foreign currency fluctuations, especially those operating or franchising in foreign markets. In terms of social factors, the shifts in consumer preferences towards health consciousness and convenience highlight the need for pizza chain industry players to adopt their offerings. Additionally, the population dynamics, including an aging population, suggest evolving market demographics that businesses need to consider for long-term sustainability. Technological advancements such as delivery apps and online ordering offer opportunities for increased sales and efficiency. Automation such as self-service chaos and AI-powered systems can enhance efficiency and reduce labor costs, but come with challenges like commission fees and initial investment costs. Additionally, system malfunctions can disrupt operations and impact customer experience negatively. Legal factors like labor laws and food labeling regulations influence labor costs, employee benefits, and compliance requirements. Additionally, companies must adhere to food labeling regulations enforced by the FDA, ensuring accurate ingredient listings and allergy disclosures. Franchisee relations are critical, with close scrutiny on agreements and concerns over rising fees. Protecting also intellectual property through trademarks and copyrights is important. Environmental concerns are equally pressing, rising food costs due to agricultural disruptions, and sustainability demands necessitate re-evaluating the company's operations. Meat production's environmental footprint alongside with packaging waste also requires attention. Papa John's, with a 40-year history, operates 5,906 restaurants and holds a 20% market share with annual sales of over $2.1 billion. Domino's, at 64 years old, leads with a 42% market share from 20,591 locations, yielding nearly $4.5 billion in sales. Pizza Hut, the oldest, has a 23% market share 19,866 restaurants and just over $1 billion in sales. Despite being younger, Papa John's demonstrates competitive strength and growth potential in this dynamic market. Here are the financial statements of Papa John's, starting off with their income statements, balance sheet, and their statement of cash flows. And here is the summary of our horizontal analysis. What is notable here is that their sales is increasing but their COGS is also accelerating at almost the same rate as the sales. Their liabilities is growing at a faster rate than their total assets. Their equity has been on the negative and also they have been using much cash for investing and in financing activities. Moving on to the liquidity ratios of Papa John's. Papa John's current and thick ratios behave almost the same way. While reaching their peak levels in 2020, they currently experience the biggest downfall in 2023. The same with cash ratio. The company's working capital is not quite good since it fluctuates only around the negative, except in 2020 where it exhibits a positive figure. Overall, Papa John's current liquidity position is weakest 
compared to how liquid it is in 2020 because of the highest increase in its cash and cash equivalents. Moving on to solvency ratios, Papa John's debt ratio and liabilities ratio exhibit the same increasing pattern except in 2020, which is not good and their financial leverage is trailing only on the negative. This indicates that the company is heavily reliant on debt to finance its assets. Now, let's delve into their profitability ratios. Their COGS have been consistently higher than their margins. Also, their operating margin, pre-tax margin, return on sales, return on assets, and return on fixed assets behave in the same pattern, showing strong growth, most notably in 2021 and recovering in 2023. In terms of their operating performance, their inventory turnover and fixed asset turnover has been showing an efficiency since 2022 while their asset turnover has been rising slightly. Their cash flow performance says much of how they are improving in 2023 with a rebound from a dip in the past years. Much of the valuation ratios indicate the shrinking value of the company especially in 2023. On the other hand, based on the DuPont equation, the return on equity is in negative. While the company's profitability and asset turnover are showing good signs, this is mainly attributed by the decrease in leverage. This low ROE may be attributed to the fact that Papa John's invests in growth strategies that may not yet be profitable. Based on Altman's Z-score analysis, the company have been consistently in a distressed zone. Papa John's primary activities in their value chain revolves around efficient inbound logistics, ensuring quality raw materials sourced from established suppliers like OSI Industries and Tyson Foods. Their distribution centers double as quality control centers, inspecting ingredients to meet high standards before shipment. With internal operations managing distribution, Papa John's optimizes delivery routes and negotiates better rates with suppliers. In terms of operations, they focus on delivery, dine-in, take-out, and take-and-bake options, support Supported by strategically located stores and commissaries, ensuring consistent quality. Automation streamlines processes, from dough preparation to online ordering systems. Outbound logistics prioritizes a temperature controlled transportation and packaging for freshness, ensuring on time delivery through route optimization and third party partnerships. Marketing strategies include digital, product pricing, celebrity endorsements, and community sponsorships. Loyalty programs and partnerships with aggregators like DoorDash and GrabHub. Wholesale service emphasizes customer satisfaction with guarantees like the Better Pizza Guarantee and accessible customer service channels. Papa John's has established a robust infrastructure with its corporate headquarters at Louisville, Kentucky, focusing on strong internal governance and specialized management strategies across various operations. The human resource management highlights a dedicated workforce of approximately 13,200 employees with a strong emphasis on diversity, inclusion, and nurturing talent through comprehensive development programs like Papa Dole and Degrees. In technology development, a significant 85% of domestic sales are conducted through digital channels, reflecting substantial investment in IT infrastructure for enhanced digital and mobile customer experiences, alongside a successful Papa Rewards loyalty program. Lastly, the procurement strategies underscores the importance of quality control and cost-efficient supply chain management, utilizing quality control centers and leveraging scale to negotiate favorable terms with suppliers. Papa John's growth strategy centers on their Back to Better 2.0 initiative, focusing boosting system-wide sales, refining marketing effectiveness, and accelerating development in North America. In terms of product innovation, they are expanding their menu without complicating operations or the supply chain while also enhancing their digital platforms through partnerships and app development. Their marketing strategy for 2024 aims to enhance audience selection, improve ROI, sustain loyalty, and generate cultural buzz. Franchises have committed to increasing contributions to the Papa John's Marketing Fund to further these goals. Additionally, local marketing initiatives are now optional for franchises. For development strategy, Papa John is aggressively expanding its pipeline both domestically and internationally with a focus on premium offerings. They are implementing new incentives to drive restaurant-level profit margins and anticipate significant growth in new unit development for North America and international markets. In their domestic commissary growth, fixed operating margins are set to increase annually with offsetting incentives for franchises to manage costs. 
This strategy aims to drive supply chain productivity and strengthen relationships with suppliers. Internationally, Papa John is establishing regional hubs and key markets to tailor experiences to local preferences while aligning with global best practices. They are also increasing investments in technology to enhance consumer-facing platforms and drive targeted marketing efforts. However, challenges persist in the UK market where Papa John has faced sales declines and operational losses. They are undertaking restructuring efforts to improve profitability and strengthen the franchise base, including closing underperforming locations and divesting from non-strategic assets. In this analysis, we examine Papa John's key resources and capabilities across various domains. First is the human resource management. Papa John's emphasizes diversity, equity, inclusion, and teamwork, fostering a positive work environment, making it valuable. The company integrates these values into its HRM policies, but this practice is common in the industry, hence competitive parity. Patents provide protection and revenue opportunities reflecting Papa John's commitment to innovation, making it valuable. This patent portfolio captures value, however, given the prevalence of patents within the industry. This resource offers a temporary advantage as competitors may also pursue similar avenues for protecting their intellectual property. Papa John's has valuable tech investment that enhances operational efficiency and customer experience. The company's tech team and R&D efforts drive innovation, yet digital adoption is standard in the industry, leading to competitive parity. Papa John's broad distribution facilitates market reach and sales. It has more than 5,000 locations in 45 countries and territories around the world. While Papa John's efficient delivery and availability, other industries are making efforts to streamline their distribution network. Hence, competitive parity. Supplier diversity strengthens Papa John's supply chain and community involvement, making it valuable. Supplier diversity is integrated into procurement strategy, but other industries have acknowledged this, resulting in competitive parity. Papa John stands out for its commitment to quality, using the mantra, Better Ingredients, Better Pizza, to distinguish its brand since its founding in 1984 by John Schnatter, in Jeffersonville, Indiana. This focus on quality has become synonymous with the brand's identity. The company has embraced digital innovation, being an early adapter of online ordering, which resonates with tech-savvy consumers and streamlines the ordering process. Furthermore, Papa John's display operational flexibility, blending traditional methods with innovative practices for agility in its business operations. Its strong franchise model powers rapid global expansion with minimal capital investment, illustrated by the presence of 5,906 restaurants worldwide as of the end of 2023. These elements combined show Papa John's strategic positioning for continued growth and market presence. However, Papa John is facing several areas that require improvement. Scaling the business internationally has posed challenges in maintaining the high-quality standards the brand is known for. This highlights the need to balance growth with consistent quality control. Additionally, the company has identified a lack of clear vision and mission statements, which could lead to strategic misdirection, employee disengagement, and a diluted corporate identity that might affect brand perception. Public relations have also been a concern with significant setbacks following the controversial remarks by the founder, impacting the company's stock and public image. Lastly, inconsistencies in product quality across various markets may have been noted, particularly with the expansion of the menu and the complexities that arise from managing both corporate-owned and franchised outlets. As we move forward, it is imperative to address these challenges head-on to solidify Papa John's market position and capitalize on its growth potential. With this, Jack and Jill is ready to assist in developing and implementing strategic solutions.